new book! <laughs> and so the Black Mantle is finally here. I can show you the cover. And I absolutely adore the cover. And because I was releasing it on the 1st of November, the day after Halloween, of course I had to recreate the cover. In costume. On Halloween. <laughs> so if you're following me on Instagram, you would have seen this post and this post of me cosplaying as the main character of the Black Mantle, Rai. But forget about that, let's talk about this book and this cover. I absolutely adore what Felix did. I will show you now the full wraparound because this piece is just absolutely stunning. Felix Ortiz really blew it out of the water with this one. And I know I'm biased because it's my book, but I am so happy with the final result and I think it's stunning and it fits the series so well. I really like that the covers are kind of getting darker and I think that reflects the story very well in the black mantle. I don't want to say too much on this video in case people haven't read Harbinger of Justice yet. However, I am currently running a sale on Harbinger of Justice just for this weekend. Cover reveal weekend, the ebook for Harbinger of Justice is down to 99p or cent, depending on if you're on .com or .co.uk. And a reminder, you can download the prequel novella, which you can read either before or after Harbinger of Justice, completely for free by signing up to my mailing list. And that'll get you all prepared for book two, The Black Mantle. So what I do want to say about The Black Mantle is it's very much Rai's story, whereas book one, Harbinger of Justice, Naya is kind of the main character. The story really scales up and you get a bit more of the political side of Taris, the country that the story takes place in, and you learn a lot more about shades, and you know, the shadow magic behind it, and you learn a lot more about the blood magic, and you learn a lot more about the ancient mysteries that were kind of teased a bit in book one. It just really shows more of the scope of the story that I am telling than book one did. And it should be done before the end of the year. So I'm hoping to get ARCs out, which stands for Advanced Reader Copies, which are early copies that the author sends out before release, just to kind of build up some hype and get some of those early reviews in. Hopefully they'll be ready end of December, start of January. So if you review books, please check out the link in the description if you want to sign up for an ARC. And this does include physical arcs, which I don't have yet, but <laughs> there will be physical arcs that I'm sending out as well. The full release will be in February. I don't have an exact date yet. I want to see how long it takes me to get the edits back and finish the edits and get the book completely done before I set an exact date, but it will definitely be February 2025 for the full release. So that said, let me know what you think of this cover. I Again, I am so pleased. I am so proud of this book. I think the cover is stunning. I love what Felix did with the art, especially the full wraparound. I mean, it has an Aya. Look at the Aya. How cool is that? <laughs> Just a reminder, book one is on sale this weekend. So if you want to get all caught up and ready for book two in February, you can grab it cheap this weekend. But thank you very much for watching. Achoo.